Hi guys and welcome back again. Jay here from BornToBoost.com. Let's continue with this Halion Sonic course. On this lesson I want to talk about keyboard mapping and I'll explain exactly what that is in just a second. So just going to trash everything. Take off my record enables just for a second. And I'm just going to load up two sounds. The l first sound I want to trigger on the lower half of the keyboard, like a bass or something like that. And the second sound I'm going to load up, I want it to trigger just on the upper half of the keyboard. So that way I can play bass with my left hand and sort of a lead sound or piano, whatever, on my right hand. So highlight slot number one. And I'm just going to search on bass. So come to bass. And I'm just going to choose electric bass VX. And that's fine. And on the second slot, I'm going to choose uh, some kind of organ or piano. That's cool. But at the moment, the whole keyboard is assigned to both of these instruments. And obviously if I, as you know by now, if I put both on record enable, you can hear them both. So let's go into MIDI and you can see the key mapping here. So obviously there's a map for all 16 slots. So the easy way to do this is just do the bass. We just have the bass just on the bottom half. Make sure you're on key here, the key tab. And you need to set the low key of the range and the high key of the range. A couple of different ways you can do this. You can click these up and down arrows here to get to the low key that you want. A little bit fiddly though. You can click and drag, that is also quite fiddly and you can see it moving on the bottom keyboard as well. You can double click and type it in. So let's say you wanted C1 as your lower key. There you go, you see that's done it there. And the fourth way you can do it is just to double click and then hit the key on your keyboard. And I'm going to choose C1 because that is the lowest key on my keyboard. And for the high key, I want in the middle of my keyboard, uh, just below the middle C. So I'm going to press this one here, B2. So what you do is you double click it and then press the key desired. So now on my keyboard, the bottom half will be triggered by the bass only. So let me just set up the key mapping for the dance organ. The low key will be that middle C for me, which is C3. And the high key will just be the, at the very end which is C5 on my keyboard. So you can see my keyboard doesn't go all the way across without pressing the octave buttons, of course, on my keyboard, but that's fine. That's, that's, you can see that they've been mapped differently. So with both channels on record enable, I should be able to now play something with my left hand on the bass and the organ on my right. And there you have it. The keyboard has been mapped with bass on the left and organ on the right. And don't forget, you can obviously transpose any instrument like we did in the last lesson if it's too low or too high for you. So in the next lesson, we'll have a look at velocity mapping as well. See you then.